hello gang my hair looks a mess what are you doing here are we in the right spot are we comfortable are we sitting comfortably oh you little bits of her if i should stay time and i would all Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends, gang friends merch available now at mistjoesnailco.com. Welcome back, thank you for joining me today, I hope this video finds you well, are you well? I hope you're well, if you're new, hello! My name is Jo, my name is Jo and I do nail stuff, she does stuff with nail stuff and stuff she does with nails is done with nail stuff and stuff for nails. Can I just say, I hate it when people say that. Can I just say, it's clearly a rhetorical question and you're gonna say it regardless of my answer. But can I just say, I'm not sure if I can because I don't want to happy cry on the internet. I don't have a nice crying face. Like in the films where women shed a tear and look beautiful, no. I look like that thing you would run and jump onto your bed to avoid grabbing your ankles from the outside. Did everybody do that? Can't have just been me. Every night, without fail, run, leap from my bedroom doorway to the bed, which wasn't easy because you went in my bedroom door and my bed was over there. So I had to kind of leap like that, managed it though. It never got me. Um, what were we talking about? Oh yes, the monster under the bed. That's not what we were talking about, <laughs> but that is, what I look like when I cry. The monster under the bed. The monster that was dormant in the day was nocturnal. And then when I was 10, I don't know, I guess it just died of old age. Anyway, I would like to say thank you. A big, massive thank you to everybody who has bought Gang Friends merch so far. This appears to be the most popular item, the black hoodie with the gold. I don't think anyone would have received this yet, but when you do, I hope you love it as much as I do. I love that you want to declare your gang friended, friend, friendness, your gang friendness, gang friendivity, gang friend status. It really means the world to me. We did have someone who wasn't very happy by the thought of merch. So we'll discuss that when we have our lovers and haters section. But they, I don't think they've deleted the comment, but it's gone. But I made note of it. So we will get to that. But right now we're going to do some Valentine's nails. We all know I'm not really a pinky, pink, pinky, pink kind of person, but we're going to do something pink because it's Valentine's and pink. Two of the nails I'm going to try and recreate something I've seen online by a tech called Koryazkina underscore nail underscore best. Find her on Instagram, her work's lovely. She did it in green and I think I saw it in brown as well. So we're gonna try and do that. But the rest of the nails in this set were plain. So we're going to think of something else for those. These are hopefully ideas that I can just pick out of the air. So I'm going to start with this pink color. It's from a brand that doesn't exist anymore but obviously you can use whichever color you like. Doesn't even have to be pink. I'm going to go about here. Let's neaten this line up. Just with a detail brush. This is the Zero Long from Crystal Nails. So we'll get this as neat as we can, but we are going to sort of cover the line. So don't worry too much if it's not absolutely perfect. See that little bit there and there? I'm not gonna, I say I'm not gonna worry too much, but I am. <laughs> okay, that will do. And I'm going to cure that. And now I've done a second coat on this, but I haven't cured it yet. While it's still wet, see it's still wet. I'm going to take a line straight down the center and then bring it out a bit to a V shape, just a little bit on either side and then fill that in. Keep working until it's even using the center point 
at the bottom of the nail as your guide. Is that fluff? Are you fluff? Fluff off. Okay, I'm going to cure that. While that's in the lamp, I've taken a big blob of that polish. I'm going to take some of Madame Glam's Perfect White and put a big blob of that on there as well. And I'm going to mix some together. I don't want to make it too much lighter, just a little bit, because we're going to do this a few times. So we just want it a little shade lighter than the original. And we're going to take that mixed colour and put it next to this and again do a V, a V shape. So it's not loads lighter, but we're working towards V, om like a block ombre. So it will slowly get lighter in V shapes. So we'll put that one that side and then do the same on this side. Same lighter colour. Oh, I'm having a shaky day and I've eaten so I don't know what it's what it's from. Don't worry too much about this bit here. I mean if you can get it neat as possible it's always better but don't worry too much because we're going to be covering that with something else. With what? I'm sure you know, you've seen the thumbnail. So then we'll cure this. And while that's curing, we'll add some more white so that we can get our next shade. We're going to end on white, so we don't want to go too light too quickly. Otherwise we'll be at white too quickly. So just a little bit lighter. You can see there, that's the first, second, and this will be the third. And we'll go either side of this one. And once it's all done, you have this ombre effect, but in blocks. Is that light enough? Yeah. I don't know whether we've got room for another one before white. I think she had maybe five variations of the colour so maybe her strips were a lot thinner than mine but here we are try and make these lines nice and neat and I'm trying to do this not so thick that it's going to crinkle but not so thin that we need to do it twice so we'll try and get this done in one coat these bits oh fuck sticks Okay, I'll rectify that and then we'll cure. Kind of annoyed now because I haven't done as many different colours, as many added white bits to gradients as the picture I'm trying to replicate. So there's not enough room to have any more colours, well one more, in the gap that's left, which should be white but I don't think I've got enough differences to have gotten to white already like the color i've just done isn't close enough to white for the next one to be white does that make sense so i think instead of doing stark white in that especially because the madame glam white is so white which is good but i think it might be too white for this so i might just do here's what i'm gonna do <laughs> here's the plan here's the story from a to z you want to get with me you want to listen now's not the time we got M in the we'll make a slightly pink white yes which is annoying because i wanted to use white later on on something else in it but then i can just use the slightly pinky white for that too we'll play it by ear we'll play it by eye see i think this white is going to be too harsh there so i'm going to mix it with a little bit of pink not loads just a smidge so it's just a bit off. That should do it. And we can do these last bits. Yeah, do you see what I mean? She had a lot more. I think she had one, two, three, four, five. So there would have been another step to get to white. But I think just a little bit of pink in this white has kind of calmed it down a bit because it's a supercharged white super duper white let's get up into there or could i have put another one there 
Oh, well, I've done this now. Make your bloody mind up, Joseph. I love it when you call me Joseph in the comments. I think it's hilarious. Every time I see it, it makes me laugh. Right. And then we can cure this. As you've been doing these bits, I've actually just been half curing. Just so it's set enough that it's not going to start mixing with the next colour we put on. While that's in the lamp, shall we have an episode of... Stop it. Lovers and haters. Let's... Lovers and haters. Lovers and haters. Lovers and haters. Our lover of the day is... I've lost it. The screen's gone. Here we go. Sarah Emmerich. And Sarah says, I have been doing my mum's nails lately and you should have seen her face when put that shit in the lamp came out of my mouth. I just couldn't help myself. I, I thought about also breaking out like a fucking champion, but restrained myself. Well done on restraining yourself. Once that's in your brain, it's very hard not to say. Thank you for your comment. Let's not give one's mother too much of a fright. We will have our hater in a bit and it's a good one because everything they say is wrong it's just wrong why do you people not think about these things hmm if you're gonna put something on we'll get to it we'll get to it in a min let's do some more nail stuff you could use <laughs> you could use different white snow pinks for this or whichever color you, you're using to have like a, a darker one a lighter one till you get to white but this way it keeps it all in the same pink family it's lighter versions of that exact color and also it means you only have to use two colors two colors not two two i made a big gap on my desk when i set up because i looked at it and thought oh there's all these different pinks so i made a big gap on my desk because i don't like having i get stressy when there's just, i don't like shit everywhere it stresses me out so i made a big gap and then realized it's just two polishes so now all that's in this gap is my nature valley crunchy canadian maple syrup oat bar half eaten so now i'm going to take some of this flexi tape this is a pink one i've got a few of these but i haven't actually used them before i know they're a bit more flexible funnily enough flexi tape um so we'll see how we get on so let's cut let's just take the whole thing shall we okay ah it's going well it's going well I'm going to place that over the line there so we don't see our messy work there we'll snip it off I like to snip a little bit shy of the edge so that we can seal it in on a person I'm not worried too much on this pop and then we're going to do another one about here, here. Oh, it just comes off when you pull it, does it? <gasps> How handy. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, this one hasn't. <laughs> Can we just... Oh, I'm all fingers and thumbs. Get off. Let's see. Come here. Look, I've broken a nail. I was trying to grow them, but it turns out... It's just not going to happen because a bunch of them are breaking. I've scuffed that one on a file. I'm a mess. She did uh, green, I saw, and then she did gold tape with gold glitter inside. It looks a really nice combo. I was thinking of this, but now I... Ah, oh, fuck. But now I'm not sure it's going to go, bringing the gold into it. Oh, I don't know. No. I don't think I want to introduce gold into the set. Look at the state of my hair. Because... It's not part of the plan. I think it's just going to look a bit odd having this gold aspect that I'm not going to put anywhere else. So we're going to use a real glitter, a real glitter. So I'm taking this pink glitter, a fine one, and I'm going to mix just a smidgeroo with some base coat. And I'll mix it together and we'll use that like we would a polish. I'm going to run a thin line through our strips, our flexi tape. I don't want it to be too thick because I don't want there to be a massive ridge once we've topped. But I'll probably top and buff maybe. We'll see, we'll see how it looks after the first top. 
if you do have a polish glitter that would match I'd probably recommend doing that instead of this but that's quite cute so we'll cure it I'm going to use Madame Glam's top coat because it's quite thick and creamy so I think that will bode well for our middle band here smoothing everything out so it's not a big ridge get it nice and sealed at the tip thank you the more I look at this the more disappointed with myself I am the colors on the outside are too close together as in they're too similar so that I haven't done a very good gradient of colors but it's done now I don't want to do it again I think if I did it again I would try and get another do these thinner and get another color in there but still pretty cute before we do the one that's completely covered with the ah with that I'm going to put the colors on the other three nails that we've got because I want to use some of the mix from making the different gradient colors to do one of the nails I don't know we'll just keep going and see what happens I'm very disappointed with myself Joseph so let's do one of them in the main color unmixed hello fluff I noticed that there's a bit of fluff cured in that first nail as well you can go away I will get rid of the floof I see you I will get you and I'll do two coats on the next one, I'm going to mix some white and the pink. It doesn't matter whether it's one that matches one of the triangly bits from the other nail because it's still going to be in the same pink family. I'm going to do that on here. Oh, why is there so much fluff everywhere right now? What the fluff is going on? Right, I'll get those out and do two coats of that. On the third one of these, I'm going to, I've done one coat of the pink without being mixed, the plain pink from the bottle. And then instead of just pouring glitter over it, because it's gonna have glitter all over it, I'm going to mix it again with some base coat because the strip that we've done in between the, what's that stuff called again? Uh, flexi tape, flexi tape. Um, because that's not block glitter, it was mixed with clear, so there were gaps. I'm going to do the same and then brush it over the pink, the bottle pink. Does that make sense? I'm going to apply the glitter as a mix with base coat. That's what I mean. I'm using the Madame Glam application brush, which is upside down because I'm a lefty. And I've mixed glitter with the base. And then we will just go over so it's dispersed or spread out like it is in the strip on the first nail. Oh, I'm not sure if I like this. Is this a silly idea? Should I have just done the whole nail glitter? What do we think? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cover the shit out of it with glitter. <laughs> it's wet. Let's just do that. There we go. That's better, okay. Cure. Funnily enough, that was my plan, to have it all glitter. Don't deviate from the plan, Joseph. While that's in the lamp, shall we have our hater? Let's have our hater. Our hater. So the comment's been removed, I think, by YouTube. Our hater is Debbie Downer. Coles, sorry. Debbie Coles. I find this... So I've, this is... I remembered what she wrote and I quickly jot it down. So I'm paraphrasing here. I find this pretentious and shallow. She's talking about the merch. Whilst you're professing to be part of the paying group, it goes on. You are charging people to advertise your channel. I'm sure you'll block me now as you do with everyone whose opinion isn't exactly the same as yours. Wrong on all counts. Every single one. Here's for why. Who am I to be getting free stuff? 
I shouldn't have something in my hand. I get, I get a bit wandy. The reason I professed to being part of the paying group is because I am. I don't just get sent free stuff. I've uploaded a design. I'm ready for my, can I have my free stuff? No, I'll go f yourself. Okay. Hello, Teespring. Hello, Teespring. Shh. I'm on a call. Hello, yes, I've uh, I've just uploaded a logo and I purchased a domain name through you, so I'm ready for you to send me my free stuff. What? Do you know who I am? Um, can you check the spelling of that? There's no E, it's just, it's just J-O. You don't, you don't know who I am. Um, that's okay, this is embarrassing. Can you... Just do this as a as a one off for me. No, you need to. You have to pay for the stuff, and then you have to print them or oh, ink. Um, can you get someone to give you like a printer and some ink for free? Just for me, me staff. Uh, they don't. They don't work for free. You need to pay them. Um, okay, so what what can I how can I get some stuff? You want my knees? My knee, just one knee. Money. Ah, oh, that's the yeah, it's the, the, the papery stuff. I have some. There's a lady on it. She's yeah, she's wearing a really nice dress and like a fancy hat. Yeah. Okay. I have a few I have a few colours of the paper with the hat lady. Which ones? Some of the red ones. The red ones. Okay. And if I give it to you, what do you do? Staff goes to the staff. Do they need it for what what are they gonna use it for? Food? Shelter. Food and shelter it's for both. Okay. I'm going to tell people um that they can buy this stuff from you. So they might buy some. How many? Uh, I, d I don't know. You still need the money. Okay. So I, uh, I'll send you some of the paper stuff with the hat lady. And then what, you'll just, um, just bring stuff to me? I have to pay for that too? So that's how that phone call would have gone. But I can tell you how much I spent in my first order was 118 euros and 22 cents. We never got the euro. Stuck with our pound sterling fifth, fourth, fifth, fifth strongest currency in the world. Luckily, the four currencies that are stronger than the pound are oil rich countries. There's the Kuwaiti dinar, I think they have, Bahraini dinar, Jordanian dinar, and what's the other one? can't think of the other country but it's quite good because they're not really I will get back to but yeah those countries aren't really holiday hotspots for Brits so everywhere we go apart from those four countries we get more bang for our buck isn't the right thing to say when I'm talking about pounds more pow for our pound more swing for our sterling anyway I have to pay for the merch if I didn't have to would I not be f dripping in it I'm gonna say something really shitty but I have no idea if what I'm saying makes any sense or is the truth I do have the receipt I can print it off for you if you like and you can stick that actually don't stick it in your pipe and smoke it I'll print it off post it to you you can stick it up your and I hope you get a paper cut the next thing she said was I am charging people to advertise my channel. This one's pretty obvious. My channel is not called Gang Friends. I don't tag my videos with Gang Friends. I don't have Gang Friends in the title. You Google search Gang Friends, you won't find Miss Joes in the results. Do you know how I know this? Because I checked. And when you've pressed show more or next page on Google seven times, you know you're not gonna find what you're looking for. I don't think Mary, in a gang friend's t-shirt wandering the local Tesco's is going to prompt a gang of youths in the corner conspiring over how they're going to buy that bottle of vodka. It's not going to prompt them to find a YouTube channel called Miss Joe's Nail Co. Gang friend's t-shirt, 
Maybe that means there's a YouTube channel called Miss Jo's Nail Co. Even if people put the two together, does it mean they want to watch nail videos? I don't know that it does. What the fuck? As for blocking people whose opinion is not exactly the same as mine, not why I block people. I block people for being rude. You're blocked because of your huge inaccuracies. I'm fact checking you. And the fact is, you're wrong. And by saying those things, you are dismissing the people who have bought merch. They are part of something. It's not a huge channel with millions of subscribers. We are a little community. And if wearing a top that says that or having a mug or a sticker or whatever makes someone feel part of something in a world where there's so many things separating people, that's a good thing. It's a big thing. Don't put a downer on everyone buying merch. If you don't like that, that's fine. Anyway, let's get back to some nails. So we'll dust this off because I don't know what I want to do with it yet. I don't know what I want to do with you. So we can go and wait with the other two plain ones. Off you trot. So on this one, that's going to have the, the ombre triangles for want of a better way of describing them all over. I'm going to do a thin line just across the center that will be covered, hopefully, because I don't trust myself to eyeball to the center each time. Is that even center? Mm, that one's a bit longer. It's fine. So we'll start with a line down the center all the way to the bottom. And then we'll make it a V. We thicken it at the top, but still thin at the center. Is that in the center? I'm not sure. Maybe out here a bit more. That line's definitely not center. Okay, we'll do the same at the bottom. Like that, I've faffed around a bit with the shape until I'm happy. I'm faff happy, I'm fappy. And then that's going to go in the lab. Now let's repeat the steps that we did on the first one across here. So we're gonna come down here and then down here. Whoop and create another V. I don't think I've mixed these very well. It's a bit streaky. I think this is too light, isn't it? I've gone too light too quickly. Oh well, I'm just not in the mood to, sometimes if I do something and I'm not happy with it, once I've finished filming, if I really am not happy with it, I will redo the whole thing. But I definitely am not in the mood to do that today. So we're going to go like this. Okay, and then we'll do the same this side. Like this, and then we'll cure. Boop. That would be the perfect opportunity to do some cool transition, you know. I'm going to do it on this side now. And then it just appears. But that's the editing side of things, and that's not what I'm here for. Software update ready to install. Fantastic. Now's not the time, Samsung. I'm in the middle of something. I think I've already messed up the chance to better the colours on this one by going too light here. What's done is done. Which isn't always the case with gel until it's cured. And even then, you can either start again or paint over but there are other implications that come with that too. So we'll get another V here. I definitely needed that line across the center. I would have fucked this up. Oh, why do I say stuff like that? Because it just makes me fudge up. Woman, sort yourself out. Okay, same on this side. I've been a little bit naughty, sort of. I turns out I cannot live with my gradient the way it is. The second color was too light. 
therefore the next two colors were too close together in shade and it just looked like you had a dark one down the center so i have mixed another second color and i've gone over the one the second bit the second triangle on the one we're doing now and i've also which has made my skin crawl a little bit i've also gone over the first nail which is topped shiny dry cured i've gone over that as well i buffed it first i just think i wouldn't be happy otherwise i'd look at the pictures and i'd end up having to come up and film it again so i would recommend doing your mixing your colors first do it first don't do it the way i'm doing it don't eyeball it we we're going to eyeball the whole thing and well look how that worked out for us so i'm going to rectify up to where we've got to so far and then we'll carry on and we'll pretend none of this ever happened this isn't obviously a step you would do because you would do it properly in the first place unlike me so here's where we're at after i've gone over the colors with new mixes i think it's a bit better the gradient still not a hundred percent happy with it and then we're going to use this white with a little bit of pink i'm going to fill in all of this v that's left because remember we're going to put a band across the middle so it's not going to look like such a big chunk once we've done that and then hopefully where I've re tried to rectify the first nail we did, where obviously I'd put the tape on, I've kind of gotten rid of the fact that the tape made the join bit neat. So we'll just have to ignore that. It's not as neat as it was when we covered all the join bits with the tape. Hello, Fluff. Why? Same on this side, like this and cure. We want to cover up our join lines. Is that straight? Mm, straight enough. And then here. Oh, fuck. Oh, it does tear away easily. Why, you little... And there. 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 Ping! It's actually quite flat. Maybe you don't need to um, cut it that much shorter because it's it's not as thick as striping tape, I don't think. Is that wonky? Let's take some of our glitter mixed with base coat and fill this in. Oh, this is a bit more glittery than the other one. There's more glitter in this mix. Never mind. Not to worry. I wish I could watch my own tutorial oh that sounds awful <laughs> i wish i could watch me teach myself what i mean is i wish i could do the whole set and learn and then film but i can't bring myself to do two of everything right okie dokie in the lab let's top this motherfucker Thick, as thick as you are willing to go. Don't want it to be too thick. Maybe just kind of a bit of a client burn. <laughs> Remember, you don't have to feel the pain the client's feeling. <laughs> right, yeah. I'm not sure what to do on these last ones. I was thinking hearts. But I'm not sure if it's going to go with the the sort of fan, fan, no, rays, rays, that's a better word. But I think if I'd have mixed my colours right in the first place, I'd be in the mood to faff around a bit more and maybe do a heart with some rays behind it. But I didn't, so I'm not. So I think we'll just pick up a brush, pick up a brush, pu -pu 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 pick up a penguin, pick up a brush and see what happens that's the plan that's the new plan so i'm thinking hearts in the lighter pink we'll do little dots and then we'll just pull them together at the center like this 
And there you have a teeny tiny heart. I know someone with a teeny tiny heart. But that's irrelevant. <laughs> Let, let's cover this in lots of little hearts. Two dots and then pull the side, pull the side and at the centre fill it in little tiny heart bing boom bam bop blip plop plip plunk whiz wallop boosh wee zorp and cure and top I don't know that this goes with the other two nails I think the girl that I saw the picture of had it right by leaving the other nails plain. But I've called it a Valentine set, so we should really have some hearts in there. I was thinking of a glitter fade on this, but I'm thinking just the same. <laughs> just hearts. So we use the darker pink, because otherwise there's not really many hearts in this set. And... I guess that's the whole kind of deal with Valentine's Day. Bing! And then we top. Fa la 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 la. Hello, Fluff. Oh, for Fluff's sake! Why? Where is it coming from? <gasps> oh, I'm just gonna cue that shit in there. I don't know how I feel about this as a set. I like those two, and I love these two, and I like that one. Put them together. Sorry, that's noisy. I'm not so sure. But we're not doing anything else now. I'm hungry, and I think I'm going to have a Bailey's. <gasps> I'm going to have a Bailey's. Oh, I suddenly have a fresh lease of life. Now I'm in the mood to faff around more, but it's too late, we're finished. Shall we have a look? at the final set okay here it is do you see what i mean i think without those two it's nice maybe i just don't like hearts maybe that's the issue i'm more of a star should have done stars oh for crying out loud should have done stars wouldn't be very valentine's -y though would it so that is the final set. I'm glad I rectified the these bits, the rays. I would never have slept had I not. I hope you like them, or at least two of them. <laughs> I think the tech had it right to do with the, what do we call them? The rays. Have those as the focus point and just the other nails plain. But it's Valentine's, so we just chucked some hearts at it and called it Valentine's. I will do some more Valentine's stuff. I don't know what yet. Maybe something with black. That's more my comfort zone. <gasps> what about galaxy Valentine nails? Could that be a thing? Wait, had an idea. Yes, could work. Might just work up there, might not work on here. We'll see. Hopefully I won't forget the idea before I finish this video. I hope you've had a nice time. Have you had a nice time? If you have, then give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget you can get your gang friends merch at missjoesnailco.com. You don't have to though. It's not compulsory. The choice is yours. I appreciate you being here so, so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye, so bye. Why do I look like I'm dragged through a hedge backwards? Hit that subscribe button. Cut my hair the other day. I cut my own hair. Why not? <laughs> Fucking bullshit.